everyone, it's Gabby. I want you all to know that I've been praying for you and I've missed the time we spend together on Sunday mornings. Before I start, I'd like to pray. Heavenly Father, thank you for this day, for the season of spring that reminds us of the new life you offer freely. Help us never to forget the sacrifice you made for us. In your name I pray, amen. So when Daryl asked me to record this, I was excited. As a student, I wanted to encourage and connect with y'all on a personal level. I'll admit though, I was stumped for a while. I kept asking myself, what do students, middle schoolers and high schoolers need to hear right now? All of us are different. We all have different opinions about COVID-19 and social distancing. We're all feeling different emotions. Fear, anxiety, annoyance, and frustration are most prevalent in our world today. As I thought about this, I began to ask myself a different question. What do I need to hear? If I were on the other side of this screen, what would speak to my heart? When I put that question before God, I was able to stop searching for the right thing to say and began listening to what he had to say. He led me to Isaiah 26, 3, which says, You will keep him in perfect peace, whose mind is stayed on you, because he trusts in you. Isaiah has given us the most perfect and relevant truth in today's world. If we trust in the Lord God, we will be given the peace that surpasses understanding, no matter what else is going on in the world. Something we can all agree on is that a lot has been lost this year. Lives all over the world have been lost to the coronavirus. Many people have lost their jobs and freedoms. Those who rely on certain organizations or public transportation have lost a way to provide for themselves. Even as students, we are experiencing loss. We're no longer able to see our friends and teachers. Um, our sports programs have been canceled, leaving us without physical activities in the spring. Some of us have even lost the money we rely on for car insurance or summer programs. All of this can make it very easy for us to be angry. Angry at the people we live with, at the government, even at God. What's important to remember in these seasons of uncertainty is that our God is a God who gives. What if, by removing so many of the distractions in our lives, he's giving us the opportunity to grow closer to him, to receive new blessings, and to love him more fully? That's what God has been teaching me for the past few weeks. So now I challenge all of you. During the next month of separation, make a list of the things God gives you and get your families in on it. If the church is going to be the salt and light of the earth, then things like sickness and uncertainty should give us no reason to fear. Let's pray. Heavenly Father, we come to you from a broken world. We don't understand a lot of what's going on. All we know is that you are in control, that you have a plan for each and every one of our lives. Give us your perfect peace, Heavenly Father. In your name I pray. Amen. Well, that's all I've got, everyone. Go out or stay in and be the church.